How I Beat a Chess Cheater Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Grandmaster and today my friends I would like to talk with you about a very important subject, cheating in chess. So chess is not like all the other sports like football, basketball, tennis for example, where you just can only cheat with drugs that bring you very very uh, much power and make you stronger. So in chess all you have to do is to take the engine with the computer and use it and it's very very big trouble and it's awful and it's bad and it's ugly and it's not sportsman and you just uh, never will improve your chess if you will do it so I really recommend you don't think about cheating okay so they there have been so many stories in history so many things that uh, were done with grandmasters, international masters, so many players that were cheated. And you know, I will tell you something 100% that uh, everyone will be banned, right? Because you know, this is life and when you're doing something bad, uh, you will get uh, something bad for you. So it's it's really, really a um, bad thing to do. Also in online chess, also uh, over the board, of course, uh, using headphones, cameras, cell phones in the toilet, and many other very stupid ideas. So today I will show you some games that I played just a few days ago. Uh, I streamed in the, my Twitch channel. Uh, one bit bullet games a little bit and I got like one turkey guy with the 2800 uh, rating and he just played very very strange and I felt like I'm not playing against human being right it should be computer so let's see it and let's understand how can I catch uh, these guys so in this game I played with the black pieces I, I don't know why <laughs> I, I wanted to play c5 of course but c6 somehow um, was done so f4 d5 d4 so d takes e4 and yeah black is just winning here one pawn up in the three move okay this this opponent just uh, don't know what he's doing nice e3 knight f6 knight g2 bishop f5 a3 what are you doing you are not developing your pieces what the heck okay e6 knight g3 h5 i played bishop e2 h4 yeah this position is just winning absolutely but in this game he played just unbelievable move i think he just played the move d5 what are you doing man you don't know how to play chess what is this d5 thank you for the pawn and say goodbye right so it feels like until now in the very beginning he played like uh, you know like beginner and also here d5 okay i understand you're down a pawn but let's try to do something but d5 bring me a pawn and yeah it's it, it seems like it just don't know how to play chess and i took it yeah two pawns up and yeah i just win it uh, very easily right exchange the pieces and exchange this one and play g5 and of course in this position uh, yeah he resigned okay so the first game was like he played very very bad and it seems like he didn't cheat right and i just won because the position was very very easy and that's it so let's see the second guy game maybe he never cheat so e4 c5 93 e6 yeah i took it bishop b5 and then now it seems like maybe logical c4 of course it's a bad move knight f6 he should have played or maybe bishop e6 something around this one but c4 rookie one check bishop e7 bishop e4 and king to f8 you can imagine this move three seconds he thought about king f8 and he played this you know just unbelievable how can you play chess like this with 2800 rating right it just you i can't imagine okay so just play the move knight f6 or bishop e6 just develop your pieces right and do a castle like like human being but king f8 unbelievable move uh, of course very bad don't think about maybe this is the cheating no he's playing very bad because he don't know how to play chess this is the point okay so knight c3 bishop g4 i took it h3 bishop e6 95 rook c8 queen f3 and yeah this position just very very bad bishop e7 is coming back bishop g3 knight f6 uh, i'm putting my rooks to e1 and king g8 what man knight xf7 that's it right 
King of Fate coming back. Just don't know anything about chess, right? Bishop d6 just took the knight, took it. Bishop g5, another time King of Fate, Queen of 5, check and mate. It seems like I'm playing against someone uh, that first time in chess, right? So this was the second game. And you know, in this in this moment, I thought about, you know, to myself, of course, I didn't want to, to tell it uh, to the audience, but I thought, oh, you know what? Maybe it's a cheater because it's very strange. 2,800, something went wrong, but let's try. Maybe, you know, he gave uh, to his child to play or someone. Okay, let's go to the third game of this match. So e4, c5, c3, and I'm doing this one, take queen d1, and knight f6. It seems like, of course, in the opening he played very bad, and now he seems like he started to play good and very fast. Bishop b5, now knight c4, he doesn't think at all, h3 doesn't think, knight d2, very strong move. Take the pawn, take it, knight e5, knight g5, without thinking, e4, knight f3. Here he, he blundered this one, uh, but overall he played much better than the last one, right? Bishop f6, rook ac1, g4, bishop c4, h4, you know, like a, like a very strong player, right? Bishop b5, king b3, understanding this diagonal is, is not good for him, picking b3, want maybe c4 in some, some ideas, of course not now. But uh, in the next future, b6, h5, bishop c4, c6, b5, you can feel that my opponent is playing very strong and fast, right? a4, a5, king b2, bishop d3, bishop b3, wow, what a move, 5 seconds he thought, you know, he played very, very strong, and now bishop b3, the best move in the position, 5 seconds, when he has 16 seconds. Do you understand that, you know, a very, every player in 16 seconds on the clock i think just taking this and playing 95 with five seconds right you know with we you know we do uh, it it will take for him one seconds or maybe two seconds but bishop to b3 after five seconds unbelievable g6 yeah i'm playing very fast because i don't have time and uh, of course something went wrong for him and i'm coming here and bishop h5 what is this move right this is just crazy move and um, just playing like like this and uh, getting somehow checkmate on the board of course and yeah three out of three i won him three out of three and going for the fourth one i think okay i will come uh, to 3000 rating very very fast but let's see this game so e4 e5 93 d6 He's taking the, the pawn, yeah, Philidor, until now it seems like he played some moves uh, with him. And now, bishop f4, knight c5, bishop f3, knight e6, taking the knight, bishop e6, knight d7, looks very uh, s strong, bishop f6, knight e5, knight c5, rook e1, bishop f6, queen e2, a5, h3, a4, strong move, a3. And now he played just amazing move, of course, the first line uh, of the computer, he played the move queen to b8 can you understand this fantastic move here he wants to play b5 or maybe queen a7 this queen is not good here of course so the queen here will do a much stronger work and queen b8 i don't know if magnus will play such a move right it's just amazing amazing move let's see how it goes bishop e4 knight e5 bishop e2 h6 another quiet move you can understand that we saw like two games uh, before, he played like beginner, right? He didn't develop his pieces, nothing, just nothing. And now he's playing very good. And bishop e3, b5, f4, knight c4, bishop takes, bishop takes, bishop d4, take, take, queen b7, another quiet move. Until now he played like very, very bad. f5, f6, you know, until now I am, I mean, uh, uh, before this game, of course. Rook e3, king f8. You understanding the development of the, of the of the pieces, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, say it to him. Uh, congratulations, King H8, Rook G6, King H7, Rook F1. This was my blunder. Sorry, mates. But yeah, I just took it. Queen C6, another strong move. I think King G1, Queen D5, Queen D7, and now uh, you know he's, he's doing very strong moves without uh, thinking a lot, uh, and in this position. Yeah, he missed something here, of course, uh, but I missed after 94 and I missed the game and he uh, gave me a checkmate. But it felt like 
the the rating and the performance that he did in this game was much higher than uh, uh, the games before, right? So let's let's see this game, another game. I was with white pieces and another time this one, take. And now, you know, I was sure he takes d5 will follow or queen takes d5, but he played the move knight to f6. This is, you know, after two seconds. So he has time to think about it, right? Knight f6 to play this move. It just, I think, overall after, I know, of course, uh, did, did, that he was a cheater and he banned from ChessCon. I, I can tell you that I think that he thought that if he will do a bad moves in the opening, ChessCon will not um, find him as a cheater. But no, no, man, it's not working like this. Uh, castle, I, I played Castle because I was sure that e takes d5 or queen takes d5 uh, will follow. But okay, this one, oh, another very, very strange move. c takes d4, what is this move? Just taking the pawn on d5 and that's it. But yeah, another very, very uh, beginner move. Take on e6, queen d5, what are you doing, man? Just f takes e6, that's it, right? Take the pawn, take the pawn, but queen d5, unbelievable. Take, take, I'm taking with the queen. And we are going to this end game, of course, two pawns up. Just this is a winning position. I'm sure that uh, against every person in life, of course, uh, classical game, not a bullet, I will win it, right? Also against Magnus, also against Nakamura, and uh, because two two pawns are just game over here. Uh, but in bullet, everything is possible, and it, 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 it's possible because it's done, right? So let's see. He played like brilliant without thinking. You can see 35 seconds on the clock. It's just amazing. He thought like for each move now, very, very uh, few seconds. Knight c4, king of three, best move. Now knight e6, taking this one. Take here, knight e5, c5, knight g6, and now king g4, king h5. And after a5, king e5, knight d4, knight e5, he took it in one second. You know, I'm sure that every person here think to think about something, right? Knight takes c2. I'm not sure that knight takes f5. It's it's a draw because it's, it looks not so good, right? Because I will take the pawn on g7. I have pawn up. I will go uh, forward to the pawns and win the game. But no, it's it's playing very very fast, very strong, and of course uh, the only moves that uh, bring in the draw. It's not so difficult, of course, but yeah, he done and. Of course, in, in one second, uh, for me, I just lost on time this position. Uh, the king uh, didn't uh, have time to take the queen on a5, unfortunately. But yeah, and this was my uh, my lost again him. Let's see another game. So in this game, he played very bad, of course, in the opening. Uh, blundered the pawn on d4. And here he's starting to play very strong for him. Uh, as we already know him, right? Bishop to g5, okay, c1, yeah. This position already, of course, very strong for black. And uh, I have very good uh, advantage, but bishop b6, yeah, he took the pawn, rook c1, bishop e2, take, take rook c6. And now it's, you know, it seems like in this position he played by himself a few moves. And now he returned to play uh, like the best computer. King f1, e5, bishop c3, brilliant move. Knight d6, rook c8, king e1, and now knight f5, bishop b4, and bishop takes f8, king h7, bishop g7. Unbelievable how he's playing, because we already know him, right? We saw how he's playing uh, in the beginning of the game. He don't know how to play chess. And he's playing like a brilliant moves. So rook c, yeah, and he's just doing it and putting bishop f8 with 97 and rook h6 checkmate on the board just a brilliant solution by my opponent and of course it was not him so let's see the last game um, of this oh sorry yeah it, it this was the last game sorry and I, I really wanted to show you guys that of course he closed for fair play um, and yeah it seems like to do it is just a bad thing um, I really recommend you to play by yourself. Uh, it's not a respect or honor to win Grandmaster with the chess engine. It's nothing. It's not respectful. It's not sportsman. And you just lose your time and wasting it. And of course, Chesscom or Leeches will ban you very fast. So yeah, this is how I, you know, catch it.
catch my cheaters. I can tell you that uh, from the coronavirus, um, I catch so much cheaters in Chesscom, here in Liches, in Chesscom. Um, yeah, I can tell you that also some title players. So it's very, very sad and bad thing to do. Uh, and this is life. Yeah, what can we say? So until the next time, don't forget, like and subscribe my channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.